Exercise 1, Formula Elements, part of the Excel 2007 Core Exam Prep Guide, brought to you by Shipkey Solutions. In this exercise, we'll be talking about the elements within a formula. Let's begin. Let's talk about the formulas in a, of an element. Here, we have an illustration outlining the different elements within a formula. I'm going to type it out here as to give you a better example of what it looks like during your use of Excel. We'll have to remember that every formula begins with an equal sign. So if I type in equal and then begin to type in this first element of a formula, which is the function. So let's use sum. So if I start typing sum, if I S U, you'll notice that there's a list of functions that will appear. Excel displays to me a list of possible functions that I might want to use. If I only type the first two letters of a function, I can arrow key down using my arrow key to identify the one I like. And that's the one I want, which is the sum function. And the screen tip tells me adds all the numbers in a range of cells. So that's the one I want. In this case, I can press tab and it'll accept that function and format it accordingly for me giving me my open parentheses after the function. The next element of a function is called a reference. So in this case I'll put in A1 and you'll notice that it identifies A1 with a blue border including sizing handles which corresponds with the blue reference in my formula. I'll close it with a parentheses and then continue by putting times 2. So let's finish identifying these other elements. Element number 3 is called a constraint. Constraints are values or settings or strings directly entered into a formula. Constraints can be anything like numbers or text that is not calculated and entered directly or manually in a formula. Numeric values like 10 or 50, text like result, or annual interest, or even dates like October 9th, are all constraints. With constraints, the results will only change if you modify the formula yourself. The 2 in this formula is a constraint value. Element number 4 are parentheses, identified here. Parentheses control the order in which expressions within a formula are evaluated. And then element number 5 are operators. In this example, our operator is the times symbol. Operators also represent the minus, divide, and so on symbols. And those are the basic elements of a formula. That concludes exercise one. Next will be exercise two, Excel 2007 environment review.